Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. I wonder if they host weddings. Oh yeah, they're a full service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. But do they have a DJ? this? This gate wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you, it's locked. Trust, but verify. And? It's locked. Right. up there. Nathan, come check this out. I got something. Hold it. Here we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a... Yeah, that'll do. It's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in it. Now, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> Something tells me that's not gonna fly. Hey, uh, she'll be wary that Victor's chatting up Nadine Ross. I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. Guy can talk his way out of anything. This way. Hey, look the vents. That's our way out. Yep. Let's find something to climb on. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding the lighter. Holding the lighter. OK. 
Okay, up we go. Right there. Uh, bed's smaller than it looked, huh? <laughs> and a lot more dusty. Shh, 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 damn it. Baldy looks like my size, too. There's no shortage of ways around here. Ah, uh, shack with the rubati ai ricettatori Check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. <clears throat> All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? <sighs> it must be a bad spot for a signal. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that and find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sarah. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? Right. So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? No, oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you there? <laughs> Sam? Sully? Great. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish.
believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize someone. No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan. How the hell are you? Rafe. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> oh, that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big score. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I go on a bit against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item. An inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel. You two kids have fun tonight. Hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It's... What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. Now, I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn fight. Rafe! Fight. <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. Which way? Maybe I can drop down from here. God, why did I pick the power room?
cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Che cosa? Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power now, it'd be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here. And is right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? He won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Oh, screw it. Bene, we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bid brings Don't us worry. to 120. Don't worry. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. Now the bid has reached 130,000. Nope. We are now at 140. Nothing. Damn it. Your bid, signore, takes you all the way Gotta be something. Come on. Hey, man, uh, I'm starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a sec. The bidding stands at 160,000 euros. Yes. Signore's bid makes 170,000. <laughs> we are now at 160,000 gotcha. euros. Gotcha. <laughs> Now reached to 190,000 euros. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice. Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. <laughs> Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey! Stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak! Sparish! What? Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You wanna say hi? Yeah, we've really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security's scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. 